So we're in a neighborhood now called Wazir Akbar Khan, um, talking about the distribution of wealth uh, in Kabul and the effect of... There is no the, distribution the, of wealth. This is, no is where it's distributed. <laughs> this is where it, it ends up. All of the money from contracts and association with the government and association with the U.S. military has ended up here. Why? Because this was originally, as you can see, the, 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 there's no real pavement or anything yeah. like that. This was originally just empty land. Okay. And when the Americans came in with the Northern Alliance, the Northern Alliance, which was the Allies who, against the Taliban, right. took this land and then gave it away to all their cronies. Oh, okay. So they created a new created war wealth a, neighborhood out of nothing. Exactly. And so we still got open sewers and we've still got no pavement, but we have Rococo castles. Nouveau riche that castles. rent for ten to twenty-five thousand dollars a month because it's a safe area. But here's the irony. Most of the government officials, and these are almost all owned by government officials, mm -hmm. don't live in them. They rent them out to foreign companies, contractors, and they live in Dubai or have their families in Islamabad. So they are purely investment properties. There's a sign right there on that one that says house for rent. Oh, yes, yeah. exactly. And the reason the streets are still unpaved is that these government officials refuse to pay any taxes to the government. They're in a, uh, a fight. So the government won't come and pave the roads or connect it to any kind of sanitation system at all because the same government ministers won't pay to register the neighborhood. And so they won't, they won't throw their weight around to get their neighborhood taken care of despite that fight because they don't live here anyway. They don't live here anyway. So you have these, these large homes and some of these homes, you see this building right behind you. Is that, that looks like a hotel? No, 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 they're all private homes. This is a private home? It's a private home. It probably has 25 bedrooms in it and garish uh, colonnades and uh, unusual architectural features. And then they'll rent that out to some Western client and they'll charge either by the bedroom or by the floor or for the whole thing. And if you, if you were to build, this one is obviously under construction. That's a million plus house in Kabul with no, no paved streets. America, it's your tax dollars at work. This is the war economy as translated to landlocked Central Asia. We dump a ton of money here thinking that we're paying for our military effort. Everything that goes along with our military effort ends up flooding, or in this case, directing like a squirt gun instead of flooding. Well, the streets uh, flood. <laughs> there was one analogy. The streets yeah, but, become rivers of mud. But the money doesn't go to the country and trickle down and create an economy. It just goes to the elite Good. and to the power brokers who can keep it for themselves. A warlord system, there is a lot of money in war contracting, supplying, shipping, and if you've been in power, you keep those contracts for yourself and you build neighborhoods like this, and maybe you don't even live here, you live somewhere else in a and foreign this, country. This is what it's like in Kabul. This is, it's the exact same dynamic that we saw in Kandahar, where you're talking with these counterinsurgency doctrine in, in, uh, uh, soaked military officers who are incredibly smart and far, have far-reaching thinking about this sort of thing. And they can, they, because of that, they can see the, the basic contradiction at work and what we're trying to do. If the whole effort, all the money and everything, is to establish governance, and the, if the whole effort is to establish governance, but all of our money, all of our spending here, is only supporting the elite, the warlordism. It can breed corruption. Just it, having so much money injected into an economy, Afghanistan is very poor, and it was isolated from the world except for the last 30 years of war, which was an unpleasant interaction with the world, for hundreds of years. And now you have a, a totally different scale of economy coming in. Billions of dollars a month. It, it, this country never saw anything like that. But it's going to people who aren't, it's, it's not going to build the country. It's going to people who have private armies. It's going to people who are- well, right? Next to giant houses, the streets are not even paved. Yeah. I think that gives you an idea of, of how much these social services are spreading. Right, so when you hear the government when you hear the leadership say we want we don't want the we don't want the Americans to leave we don't want the war to be over there is an incentive Think about this neighborhood there's an incentive uh, because war is a, is a profitable business for, for profitable business for many people yeah I, mean, I think this neighborhood is actually very symbolic of, of a lot of the problems with this entire war frankly and here next to an incredibly big house is a open garbage pile because no one cares about the common space. Nobody 
problem. It's not anybody's problem. And that's what you see everywhere. You know, you have a giant And is giant this all home. spread out and ripped open like this? Keeps people are going through it to see if there's anything valuable in the trash? Yeah, I mean, kids, here are some kids right here. They go through it, and it's it's quite sad. I mean, they'll go through it and pick through anything that can be recycled or used again or of any value, yeah. uh, metal things. or uh, So it in a way, it's... It's own environmental, but it's it's a it shows you know there's a lot of poverty here. Yeah, this, this corner is like the microcosm of the war. This and this and, and these the kids. reason and us too because we're here as Americans covering this because of the American initiative here um, that created the economy that made this all possible.